Most of us think we only put fat in our fat cells when we eat too much. But as Gary Taubes explains in Good Calories, Bad Calories, your fat cells are like rechargeable fuel cells. Every time you eat, you store some fat. In between meals, fat comes out of your fat cells to provide the fuel for your muscles and organs. If you're naturally thin, it's because you have efficient fat cells. Fat goes in quickly and it comes out easily. Your body doesn't need much fat because the little bit of fat you do have is a reliable source of fuel. If you're predisposed to be fat, it's because you have greedy fat cells. When you eat, you tend to store calories as fat instead of burning them. And when your other tissues need those calories, the fat comes out slowly if it comes out at all. What are they doing? Did one of you guys forget to pay the food bill? Boom. Are you going to eat all that? The end user of food that we eat are our individual cells. And it doesn't matter if it goes in our mouth. If it doesn't get to those cells, we starve. We starve at the cellular level. And so you do exactly what your body is telling you to do. Come on, eat, eat something. something. Steak, will ya? You eat more. In other words, you're not getting fat because you're eating more. You're eating more because you're getting fat. Most of us weren't born with greedy fat cells, but we can certainly make them that way. When you eat too many carbohydrates, you raise your blood sugar. Since high blood sugar is toxic, your body releases insulin to bring it down. But your body can only burn a little bit of sugar at a time. So what happens to the rest of it? Your storage sites for carbohydrate are limited, and we've got unlimited storage places for fat, so the body ends up just converting the carbohydrate to fat. And after bringing down your blood sugar, insulin does its other job. It tells your body to store fat. When you have a healthy metabolism, it only takes a little bit of insulin to bring your blood sugar down, and then everything goes back to normal. But over time, that can change. The cells can become resistant to the effects of insulin. In essence, when that happens, the insulin's talking, but the cells just start listening. And so they don't get the message from insulin, so they don't do what they're supposed to do. Hello? Stop hitting me. I'm not hitting you. Stop hitting me. I'm not hitting you. And so your body does what it has to do. It starts producing more insulin. You finally reach the point to where your insulin's high just to keep your sugar normal, even if you're not eating any sugar. And then when that happens, then it's starting to drive stuff into the fat cell, and you reach this point where all of a sudden, bam, you get fat. Fat head, fat head, yeah. I'm gonna start thinking smarter.